Today I want to talk about the CDM Terrier, which is a Wells Terrier. They're quite vulnerable at this moment, so uh, there are very little there. You need between 300 to 500 puppies a year to sustain a working breed, they say. And it's, there are now between 30 to 40, and that's all puppies. Falcon in the sky. There goes the falcon again. See the birds? But uh, there are now like 40 puppies a year, and most of them are showbred uh, dogs. This dog was uh, generated by breeding the extinct now English White Terrier to Welsh Corgis and also um, Wirehead Fox Terrier. So it's a, it's an all white wire head breed now. It has a double coat. It was bred uh, as a rodent killer, but also as a badger type of dog. And uh, this meant that they were used for getting uh, drawing the badger out of the holes and not uh, like they did uh, in a traditional way but more on really uh, killing the badgers in this case or so pulling them out in a hunt although in that time especially the Celium house they tried to relocate them but they were uh, meant as hunting uh, badger dogs they were also used on otters and some other uh, big game that is able to uh, take care of itself. They wanted to breed a dog that was so hardy, compact and had a strong jaw. And therefore I, uh, I wonder why they, uh, how they could get that stronger jaw with only corgis and uh, uh, wirehead fox terriers. Instead of just going uh, the route of something that is more bully, I think that the English white terriers that they use might have uh, a little bit of boo in them. Eh? To be more the first boo and terrier type of uh, dogs. He's hunting for mice, I think. So the, the dog on the leash here is a Petadol Terrier, also known as the Black Fell Terrier, which is also bred for uh, badger uh, hunting, but mostly for uh, fox hunting, and also used as a rodent dog, but also its original purpose was uh, the hunting of fox in the fells. The, this terrier that I was talking to uh, through, it's a lot uh, more short legged, so there's a uh, big difference. The CDMs are yeah, having that corgi uh, type of uh, look, and also the look that you find in uh, many uh, Jack Russell, so I'm not mentioning the Parson Russell, but short on the legs. And also, as I mentioned before, that I told you that in Jack Russell terriers there might be. Uh, more than a tad of corgi bloods and also giving away that uh, dwarf growth in their uh, legs is uh, quite supported by the Cidium Terrier which also involved the corgi and was also used for terrier work. So that being said, it's, uh, it's a breed that is uh, quite nice if you want it little bit of wire hardness in a more compact frame. Hoi hoi! Hallo! Mooi hè? Stok erbij alles! <laughs> Zo wordt het! Maar uh, so as an alternative to wire hat, uh, Jack Russell Terrier, the coat is also much richer. It's really uh, giving you that uh, noble look if you're for the show fancy 
I am not. I would uh, rather have a coat with a, a dog with a more functional coat. As you also see that the current day uh, CDM Terriers are far away from the original working CDM Terriers which had a much shorter coat and looked more like a rough haired uh, Jack Russell Terrier. So uh, to each his own of course. There are also other alternative breeds, let's just uh, say West Highland White Terrier, which also gives you that uh, white look and a uh, more friendly face, which has uh, a little bit less uh, coat care uh, necessary, which would also be uh, my choice between the two, if uh, one should go that route, but I would rather not be uh, completely fair. I'm not trying to destroy a breed that's already rare, because that's uh, the case with the CDM Terrier. But uh, there's a reason why they are rare. It's a working breed, because other breeds are working a lot better. And there's a reason why they are also rare in other dimensions, being a quite a good, nice uh, Terrier, but a uh, huge upkeep and a limited gene pool makes it uh, a lot harder to really get uh, down to the nitty gritty. The problems that the breed has are uh, next to uh, hip uh, and uh, elbow and sometimes other uh, factors that could involve them, especially with your small gene pool. Also the popular sire effect is very uh, abundant there. But next to that they have uh, especially uh, problems with the proteins being in the lens or other parts of their uh, body that they don't function as they should, which gives you uh, a lot of uh, problems or potential for problems if those uh, occur. That's a type of breeds. And one, one must uh, remind that also these have uh, hairs that can grow into the eyes as well which can cause infection and other things that are not as nice to uh, have okay let's conclude it with that